Guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I'll share with you what I found out. It's actually a wireless portable car stereo. This is suitable for cars without touchscreen head unit. The nice thing about this product is that it is portable. You can install and uninstall it easily in just 5 minutes. So in case you need it, you can also transfer it and install it to your other cars. It has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. And the nice thing is, you can mirror your phone, both on iOS and Android. The brand is CarPoride. So halika, tingnan natin. When you order their product from their website, it comes in a box. The size of the box is 10 inches by 7 inches and the thickness is about uh, 5 inches. So if you want to order, please see the link below. Now let's do the unboxing and see what's inside the box. It's actually a portable car stereo which supports wireless and wired connections. It has a 9-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto at pwede rin yung mirror link. In addition, it supports voice controls, yung Apple Siri and Android voice control and Google. Not only that, it has FM transmitting, may slots for SD card, meron din siyang kasama na rear view camera, saka yung auxiliary port, and you can also charge your phone using the USB port. Okay, let's open the box. On top of it is the unit with a 9-inch uh, touchscreen, which is tama lang yung size and bigat. And here's the power button. Then you have here the DC 12 volts to 24 volts power supply. Then there's the USB port. You have the audio out, camera in, the memory card slot, and the external mic port. Okay, let's pull out the accessories. This one is the portable sticker bracket. And then you have the suction cup bracket. And then you have the car charger. And the various cables for the camera. And then you have the user manual. And the product manual for the night vision camera. So that's what's inside the box when you receive it. Okay, let's see the mounting options. The first option is yung uh, portable sticker bracket which you can uh, mount dito sa iyong uh, dashboard if you like no ang maghohold lang sa kanya yung sticker the other option is using the suction cup bracket meron siyang kasamang suction cup gasket and this is used for the windshield mounting so you can position this easily kasi it's adjustable depending on your requirements it's very simple and fast I slide in mo lang dun sa slot and then you have the power cable, just uh, plug it in in the car charger and then ikabit mo na dun sa unit through this slot. Included also in the package is the night vision camera and here are the cables that uh, you will be using if you are gonna install it. Once you assemble the camera and its cables and then you can attach it to the head unit through this slot. And here's the location of the on and off switch. Just press it for a few seconds for the unit to open. And of course, it comes with the operations manual. And the product manual for the camera installation. So this is how it looks uh, when installed on the dashboard using the suction cup, which is attached to the windshield. So you can install it quickly in 5 minutes and the operation is very simple. And you can also adjust the angle depending on your mounting preference. Once you have decided on the mounting area, you can take out the data cable and put it in the slot in the unit and then uh, insert the other end to the car cigarette lighter. And that will power the portable car stereo. So it's very simple to adjust. You have the adjustable arm, you have a very strong suction cup, you have more stable installation, better heat resistance, and no need to disassemble a saving on labor cost. And this is another option of mounting using the sticker provided. No? So you can 
mount the unit on the dashboard using the sticker using this bracket. So the same procedure with the suction option, the only difference here is you'll be using the sticker to mount it on top of your dashboard. But this setup is more like a permanent one than the suction option kasi once you have the sticker in place, it will be difficult to remove. So you have to decide on where to put it. Okay, let's now test how it operates. Meron na siyang power supply. Here you can see the Apple CarPlay button. You have the Android Auto button. You have the mirror link for the Apple and Android and the equalizer button. And then you have the buttons for Bluetooth, the USB for the card, for the FM, and the settings button. Meron din siyang uh, screen adjustment sa brightness. You can adjust it manually. And meron din siyang automatic adjust na screen brightness according to ambient brightness. Ang kagandahan nito, simple lang yung mga features na niligay niya. Yun lang what you need. So you can remove it from the mounting area. Pwede mong hawakan. So pwede mo siyang gamitin as an external device. So pwede kang manood ng movies. Pwede ka ring mag-play ng songs using yung USB slot. Now I connected my phone using the data cable para mag-Apple CarPlay. Bale, it supports Apple mobile phone CarPlay function and wireless link. It also supports the auto function of the Android phones. What I notice is meron siyang high definition display. So I can actually watch videos, listen to songs using USB and memory card. So pag nakakabit na yung phone mo sa Apple CarPlay at saka Android Auto, you can use the latest map for navigation. And the nice thing is you can mirror your phone using wired and wireless connection. So when I tried the mirror link, ito yung maganda kasi we're fond of YouTube, di ba? So I can now watch YouTube while on the road kasi right now, uh, it's difficult to mirror link, di ba? So with this device, you can now mirror your phone. So when you're traveling, hindi ka na mabobor. And for safety reasons, dapat pag nakatigil lang or yung companion mo nanonood. So very nice, di ba? Ito yung hinahanap ko kasi with my current head unit, I cannot do mirroring. And I cannot watch YouTube kahit nakapark ako. This will now give me flexibility when I need it. So my wife and kids can use it. They can now actually watch movies or videos. And then they can detach it from the mounting area. And they can watch on their own. This is the procedure on wireless mirroring. Para gumana yung wireless mirror link, you have to turn off yung Bluetooth saka yung Wi-Fi doon sa iPhone settings mo at the same time. Tapos mag-connect tayo doon sa Wi-Fi nitong car stereo. Okay. I-on natin yung Wi-Fi. So, naghahanap siya. So, lalabas dyan. Ito yung Wi-Fi. Yun ang kanyang uh, Wi-Fi. Yung W701 something. Then, join this network and it will ask a password. Ang password na binigay dito sa unit, naka-indicate naman yon yung walong six. So, pinres ko yung walong six para yun ang pinaka-password niya. And then, press ko yung join na button. Then, balik tayo dun sa default nung phone. And then, punta tayo dun sa control center. So, paglabas ng control center, nandun yung icon ng mirror ring. Yan, yung dalawang box na yon Pipress mo ngayon yan, Yun na, naka-screen mirroring ka na. Yan, naka-wireless mirror link na yung phone mo. Naka-mirror na yung phone mo dun sa car stereo. Yan, yung uh, portrait. And then, pagka, in ano mo, pwede mong gawin yan. Landscape, yan, naka-mirror na siya. So, ang ganda kasi wala ka ng cable. Yun ang kagandahan pagka-wireless mirror link. Again, using this function, you only need to connect to the car stereo's Wi-Fi to mirror the screen without connecting doon sa Bluetooth. In terms of audio output method, there are three ways of sounding. Number one is through local horn. O kaya naman, kung meron kang uh, auxiliary input, you, you have an auxiliary cable to connect. And number three, yung FM connected to the car audio. Yung uh, car plays FM adjust to the same frequency with the car's FM. You can actually use the uh, voice assistant to control the navigation. 
make phone calls, play music, and other operation commands. There is also an option to change the background. You press this button and you can have different background. Yan o, nag-iiba yung pagpilipindot mo. Nag-iiba na yung uh, background niya. Meron din siyang uh, light sensing. You can actually adjust the screen's brightness depending on your need. So, it can be adjusted manually. But sa default niya, it automatically adjusts yung screen brightness depending on sa ambient brightness. So, hindi siya masakit sa mata. Meron din siyang built-in equalizer. For example, you can change the selection to loud pag binindot mo itong button na to. You can also select different sound settings. For example, pwedeng classic, merong rock, merong jazz, yung electric, o kaya yung pop or soft, and then yung custom. You can also personalize yung boot screen nyo with your family picture o kaya yung mga logo ng cars ninyo. So, pwede nyo ipadala sa Carporide through email and then babalikan kayo yung instructions how to do it. Just to summarize, itong 9-inch touchscreen stereo na to can support 1080p video playback. Maganda yung resolution niya. You can watch large screen movies, maps, and other features. At ang favorite ko, I can now watch YouTube. Ito yung sample ng resolution niya. Maganda. So, if you want to order this product, nandito yung link niya sa baba doon sa description. Based on my experience, it took about 2 weeks for the product to arrive. When you order, there will be a coupon code. Just fill in Ride with Levy as your coupon code and you get 10% off. So, pwedeng-pwedeng DIY lang. Hindi mo kailangan ng technician na magkabit. At ang maganda dito, may flexibility ka kasi pwede mong tanggalin, pwede mong bitbitin, pwede mong i-mount kahit saan. So, tamang-tama ito sa mga lumang sasakyan at even yung bago. Alright, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, see you again in my next vlog. Bye!